want me, my child? Ha 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 ha! Hey, charming! Welcome back to my channel. I am super excited today because this is a freaky freaky Friday, and I'm doing a makeup transformation from this to. Okay, so I'll be wiping my face first using KLED Collagen Makeup Wipes and I'll be cleaning all that in. Then I'll go in using my Video Bug Face Invisible Primer and I'm gonna rub that in like I always do. Now I'll be coming to foundation, I'll be using Mix Their BB Beauty Foundation. This is in the shade white and I'll be using that to rub on my face using my beauty blender and I'll be going over this in three levels before I go over to concealing the first one which is this one is gonna add like a base to it now the second one is gonna make it a lot more easier to blend in the third stage now on the third level I am taking that foundation back again because I'm going to apply a generous amount of this right now and there it is so I'm going to apply this all through my neck and my ears and if possible for you on your head or any other place that is open so you can get this makeup tutorial or you can get this look much more visible and vibrant on you now I'll be going in using Fiora concealer this shade is in the shade medium beige um, and is in, in the shade of a, a, a milky white kind of so I'll apply this all over my face, my neck, and you can sweat go over your hands. So I'm going to blend this in using my beauty blender. Um, I wanted to know how using a beauty blender is gonna make this pop more, but it really did. But I think. For a redo, I would suggest you make use of your airbrush. So now I'm going to conceal those eyes because I want it to be um, glam, even if it is not a glam makeup. <laughs> okay, yeah, so as we're going on with it, I'm going to um, powder my whole face using black or power white setting powder this is a setting powder but i'm gonna use it all through my face i think i've done this just once but today trying it out it looks more it's actually is a lot more easier and it blended in so well i think it was because of the level of the foundation that we did that made it to stick properly and blend well so now i'm going to set that side of my face Then the next step is the eyes. I am taking that very brown, dark brown shade from Pop Feel Eyeshadow. You can as well make use of any dark brown eyeshadow from any of your eyeshadow. I would recommend a nude eyeshadow actually. You can take that dark brown and uh, make it. I um this dark brown shade actually um I, I think there's one in Jaclyn Hills Morphe palette. You can as well make use of that. Now I'm taking over that black shade from the same palette and I'm rubbing it in. Now I'm going to take the same shade and contour my nose and my cheekbones. But for the forehead, there will be no contouring for that side. Except if you really have um, like your natural hair on, you can go over doing that. But for this particular tutorial where we'll be wearing a wig there's nothing to worry about because you actually want this to come from the inside you know so i'm going to take that um ash and uh, lilac color from wet and white palette which i got very new it is highly pigmented i was actually taking just a little bit of this i don't i don't have you know it doesn't I don't even know what I'm saying. So it doesn't come out. 
it shining so bright because a dead person doesn't shine do they okay so after applying that ash i'm going over to, and i'm going to apply the lilac just on top of this ash now let's get to work with the eyeliner i'm taking um anastasia gel eyeliner and using that with my angle brush i am going to apply this at my eyes area and i'm actually going to make use of the gel eyeliner to do my eyebrows okay so i'm applying this as my waterline you gotta take it very easy because you wouldn't want to get that area so messy now the next step i'm doing is i'm applying my um i'm drawing my eyebrows using the same j eyeliner i would have said that you use an eye pencil so that this place wouldn't look so bright but it doesn't really matter whether it's bright or not and it doesn't really matter if you get your eyebrows so fantastic or so beautiful all that matters is that like you have an eyebrow in that area okay so if you're not so much very good in eyebrows don't worry you can still get this look now I'm going over doing some scary shapes around my face you know <laughs> okay uh, now we'll continue going over the drawings because it never ends until you get that very scary face you no know, looking at myself now i think i even looked beautiful like this but when i apply every other shapes and drawings on my face damn i'm gonna look so scary So I'm gonna take that brown shade from Initial, which I use in my eyes. I'm going to use that just to cut off um, the area around my lips, just to show the shape of it. Not that it's actually there. I don't know if it gets. It's not there, but just like the shape of where it's it usually is. If you get me. Then I'm going to take that black shade from the same palette, and I'll go over to my under eyes. And I'm going to brush that in. Now this time around you don't really need to make it so smoky, you just need to apply the black there. Yeah. Apply it. Make it look scary, just scary. Just make it look very, very scary. So if you're the type that likes doing that area to be very scary, make it look very, very and very and much more scary. <laughs> So now I'm going to take that pointed um, brush from Bobby Brown brushes. So I'm going to use that to draw that dots around that area. Dots, 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 dots. <laughs> okay so using his beauty waterproof mascara i'm actually applying that on my lashes out through now i'm applying my um 
lashes you have to go ahead and look for a real long lash from this one is from Jemaya 3d lashes and I'm leaving everything in the description box down below then I'm applying my um, good flower palette you have to go ahead and look for a white highlighter just to get this look to shine it has to be white okay because the day that white you know okay so at this junction I was actually thinking should I smile to get this area or should I just apply it anywhere but I was like the dead do smile don't they you know they laugh they are like ha, 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 ha. <laughs> You know that kind thing. <laughs> okay, so I apply this around this area and it kind of um, remove the shades of some of the areas where I did. So I'm going back in to apply those shades so that it's actually gonna be visible while the shine is still there. All right. Now for that nose, coming to that nose, I actually want it to shine, but if I should go ahead applying that gel eyeliner, it's not going to shine anymore. So what I did was take that black shade from my pop fit eyeshadow and I applied it over there just to cover it up and there you have it. So the new trick I learned, which I've actually started using so far, is applying your um, setting spray on your blend your beauty blender then touching it around those areas and it's gonna shine trust me baby mm -hmm. now i'm going to put on a wig and get it all scattered if you have a tangled wig this is the best for it so this is what i'm gonna do it gonna scatter because they the dead don't brush their hair i don't think they do so i'm taking this black cutest from a beauty yeah it's beauty and I'm going to apply that on my hands then I made this effect and we are done thank you so much for watching this video today thank you so much and don't forget to hit that subscribe button do not forget to give this video a thumbs up if you love it follow me on Instagram and I'll see you on my next video bye